We sat and we talked about it. I wanted to see, you know, you pass these bills in Trenton and you want to see how does it affect, um, how does it affect real people. Uh, and uh, Tana was telling me about her homestead benefit last year, um, you know, was uh, just a short shade under $200 plus a, the $50 credit, so about $231. Her credit's going up this year to $412.50, so nearly doubling for her. She was really happy to tell me that she got her senior freeze check this week which was uh, just short of $3,000. Right to the bank. <laughs> <laughs> right to the bank. I, d I deposited in the checking account. Uh, last, you should know that she's lived here her entire life. Um, she, was, she was born here. She grew up in this house. And she has lived in this house uh, her entire life. I don't know how many years because it is not appropriate to ask a lady her age. But um, <laughs> but it has been a number of years. You, you got it, Tana. <laughs> There's been a number of years, and and these the policies that we're trying to pursue are its main goal for seniors is to try to allow there to be more and more seniors like Tana, who are in the home they want to be in, in the community they want to be in. And as we get better at controlling property taxes by providing types of credits and programs, but also by controlling the cost of government through the cap and the pension and benefit reforms that the mayor supported. Tana talked before about putting the money in the bank and saving it. Well, that's what I'm trying to do for New Jersey, is to try to make sure that we don't spend every nickel we have as soon as it comes in, mm -hmm. and that we save some money so that we're not always looking to the taxpayers to you know, fill in the gaps. I'm there to represent Tana. That's the way she lives her life, and I don't understand why me or Wilda should treat her money any differently when it gets deposited for us.